G'day folks, this is my Minolta CF2001 colour copier printer system. This is one of a number of photocopiers that I have and use in my house. Copiers have been my main interest for the last five or six years now. Repair and service, recycling. This one was given to me as a good working chassis by a local photocopier shop along with a lot of scrap machines. It was basically stripped out of imaging units, print heads and such, so I just went through all the junk units that they gave me and put it together. It's got some pretty good features. It functions as a printer or a flatbed scanner. It will scan to PC or to FTP server. It has its own Fire EX3E print server built in. It utilises Minolta's tandem print engine. That is four individual imaging units all hopper fed for toner the image is developed on a belt this one here and then transferred to the paper rather than the old fashioned style which has the paper revolving on a transfer drum once for each colour this manages about 20 pages a minute utilising this tandem system this is an example of the LED print heads about two thousand dollars each as a replacement item so I kept this panel they each have their own little ROM chip in the back I've taken the cyan head and chip out to get this one working one of the LED apertures was bad so it would leave a line through the cyan part of the image that one's working perfectly now The unit's nearly complete. I'm just waiting for a side cover to come in for the bulk feed cabinet. 2700 pages. Got extra A4. It's all just set up for A4 at the moment because I was doing some big runs of flyers for a friend. Got a duplex unit on it. Do double sided copying on A4. This is the transfer roller assembly, the transfer belt up in there. This uses an oil roller fusing unit. It's not fed from a oil drum or anything, it's just a lubricated roller. Fits in here. A reasonable boot up time on it, but it's worth it. I think it's running an old Windows type operating system. The advantage of this unit is it could be stripped down to a bare printer with just one drawer, or it could be used with a standalone scanner and additional paper cabinets or just a storage cabinet. Well, the camera ran out of battery, but we've got it all working again. We've done the boot up cycle. The uh, fiery server's working. It's available hard drive space. I think it has about an 8 gig hard drive on it. And I've still got a bit there. You can test, print test pages. Suspend. Resume. Who can be fully calibrated. They print their own little calibration charts. They're all the usual digital copier features. Various graduations. Quality. Duplexing. This does not have an auto document feeder on it unfortunately. I'm trying to find one. Uh, apparently the finishes for these ones were a bit average so I don't have one of those either. They only really just had a mail bin finisher. There was no staple and sort. Yeah, non-sort. Yeah, 
adjust your colors, mirror an image to create a, a reverse. Overhead projector stuff. And of course, in scan to PC or FTP server. I think these were roughly about $21,000 when they came out. And now those are a bit out of date, everyone's just throwing them out. Not too expensive to keep going. But the imaging unit's not rebuildable, they're about 500 bucks each. The uh, toner pots are roughly 100, 150 bucks each and they last for thousands of pages. Oil rollers aren't too expensive for the fusing unit. I haven't had to do one of those yet. This is a spent cyan imaging unit for the CF2001. These can be rebuilt with a new drum, wiper blade, and I think starter if necessary. I hang on to these simply to save costs. The rebuild kit's a fraction of the price of the new new imaging unit. They have a microchip in them that can be reset as well. If the drum and everything's in good condition, then you can just reset it with a new chip and be done with it. This is a toner refill pot for the black. A pretty sizable container, you get a lot of shots out of them before they run down. K3B. Various other toners and machines in here. It's an old analog EP4000 that I'll show in another video. Spare bolt cabinet feed unit. Spare fusing unit from another machine. Spare laser for one of the other machines. Control panels. Let's see if we can get it to spit out a test page. I think the processor in this unit is about a 350 megahertz Celeron. The print server is running 256 meg of RAM. A little bit slow, but it works. I won't let you do anything on the copier until it's done printing, though. As I said before, it's 20 pages a minute when it's up and running. Everything's still up to scratch, there's no lines through it. I haven't really run this for about a month now. One thing I notice if the machine isn't used much, you sometimes get a streak of oil along the bottom of the page where excess oil seeps down from the fusing roller over time. But it doesn't seem to have done it this time. Great source of spare parts for these machines for hobbyists. You get great little DC fans, power supplies, motors, mirrors, all sorts of cool stuff. That was the main reason I got into copiers. The shops had just given to me for hobby bits and in the end I'd probably end up fixing the machine instead of tearing it apart. 